Hey everyone, it's Ellen and welcome to my channel. Today we're working on some cute whimsical birthday cards. Yeah, super fun, easy, different skill levels can do this. Um, you know, you can add more intricacy by making the hats more, you know, detailed, whatnot. But I thought it'd be fun to do something really just kind of whimsical and fun for the summer because everyone's kind of just running around doing things. And maybe if there's a birthday they're going to and they want to do a birthday card. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Let me know if you like making little cards like this. I'd like to hear what, you know, what you're working on this summer, what are the, what are the things you're struggling with, and maybe it will turn into a tutorial. So, uh, yeah, I teach you how to draw these and paint these. It's no big deal. You can totally do this. Also, if you're a Patreon member, you can download the traceable of these characters. And I have two bonus characters in the traceable for Patreon. Patreon is a place where um, you can get ad-free videos, exclusive tutorials, traceables, and a live stream in the top tier once a month. It's just a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. You can see the little pop-up thing right here, and then you'll click on that and go right to Patreon. So without further ado, let's get painting some cute little whimsical cards. All right, guys, to start off, I'll just teach you how to draw these little cute little characters. And, you know, like I said, the Patreon members is additional um, characters in the traceable. So we're going to do the little whale. Whale is pretty simple. Um, I might start off with the top part or the bottom part. If you do the bottom part, just go across like this the line. And you're going to come up and in a little smile, kind of curved up, and then go back out and up and over and then down and then go like this little bumps little v's and you've got your wheel if you do the other way you can start off with the, like little half moon shape and then go down curve back up and then pull it in to like a little bump like a v go back and then go straight and then you put the little mouth in Pretty easy, and you can do a dot eye, or you can do an eye with like a, a bigger circle. And then to the hat, a simple triangle. You can do stripes, and then a little um, pom pom -y thing on top. And then for the crab, a little bit di different, you know, so it's kind of a curved line here, right? And then you can go down and kind of meet that, right? So just curve, and then do like a smile kind of curved line. And then you can do the little bumps curve, 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 curve. And then from here, the claw, curve out, come back down, up, curve. And do the same thing on the other side. Curve, 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 curve. And a bigger one, line down, line here, boom, you have the claw. And the legs, simple. One, two, these little lines, one out here, go down, come in, go back. Out, down, come in, go back. A little smiley, little lines for the eyeballs, circles, and the eyes. And then the present is just a line across, down, down. You know, you get it. <laughs> and um, the popsicle is super easy. Basically, it's just a line across and swooping up and over and down. And same thing here, right? It's just a sh sh the bigger one here. A smaller one here, and then just do circles for eyes and with the mouth if you want. Hello, it's summer. You could put a hat on it. Let's see, happy birthday. <laughs> okay, so that's simple. And like I said, if you're a Patreon member, you can download the traceable. So I have my water jar, my paints. I'll probably be using my Princeton 8 long round and the regular 8 Velvet Touch series brushes. And I just grabbed some scraps of like, um, these are small, cute little cards. You know, it's mini Monday kind of thing. Um, of my Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. It'd be nice to get like a little card in the mail. If it's, you know, and if you want to use just scraps, you can use the scraps this way. So I have variation sizes. I don't know, these are like probably two and a half by three and a half folded. And this little three by three folded. So it's like three by six, I guess. That's the little whale. So um, it might be best to open up. I had to. <laughs> I have a whale on this side, I had to do it on this side because it get all dirty, just to show you. So you have your shape. I've already had my little whale, t you know, drawn in here with the little hat. And it's simple colors. I mean, um, blues. I'm going to use my Princeton long round for this one because you get the pointy tail. 
and I have Prussian blue, I have a navy blue, maybe I'll make like a navy. Or you can make a gray whale, a pink whale for a girl. So, you know, there's so many varieties you can do here. So I want to make more of a navy kind of color. I'll mix my Prussian blue with my neutral tint. I actually have navy, but I didn't put it in my little um, well here. So a couple ways you can do it. You can just paint the color straight on in on the whale here or get a little bit wet like I'm doing now. Just like I said, this is tutorial. Tutorial is super easy. So my brush has still got a um, pigment on it. I'm just filling in my whole entire area that I drew in with the water. Because I have an arched paper, I could do a nice pretty bleed with it. If I didn't, I wouldn't be able to do that. And I can just bleed in a darker color. The reason why I'm just choosing to do this instead of just painting the straight color on there is that I wanted a lighter, a lighter center of the whale. And this is fairly wet. I think this paper is an arched paper. The other two papers are. I don't know what scrap this is. I just grabbed something. So I'm manipulating this paper. I mean this paint on this paper. As you can see with my brush, it's got like a weird tie-dye kind of thing going here. So I'm kind of just kind of push this water color around. I did want to keep it light in the center, which is why I did decided to paint it light like this first. I have a feeling it's not going to do the bleed that I'm looking for, but that's okay. I can just go with it. And again, I'll grab that Prussian blue neutral tint more concentrated, which hardly any water. And I'll add the deeper value on the edges of the whale for the look that I'm going for. Don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing, but I kind of like this look. See, just a little goes a long way. Make a little smile. Now I didn't put, um, leave a big white circle space for his eye because I'm not sure if I want to just do a dot eye or a big circle eye. So at this point, I have to let it dry. I can't touch it. But see how I like it, liked it lighter in the middle? And I just put that darker color right on the edge. And it was bleeding in nicely. And I have to let this dry naturally. So we're going to put our little whale aside and play with our popsicle. <laughs> make this any color you want. You can make it look like a um, watermelon. You know, you do like the watermelon color here. Leave a little white, add green in the bottom multicolored like a rainbow which I'm going to play with actually so we've got yellow here um cadmium and red light but I'm going to add some pink to that oh well, pink goes a long way we've got the nice um peacock blue which is like a nice turquoise we could put that here and add some yellow and make it green Grabbing my yellow. I'm making my yellow pretty messy, but so it's kind of like rainbow colors. And I have brilliant orange here already. So I can just loosen this up. I'm cleaning up my brush as you hear that. So this is where the sand kind of thing comes to play. Now I might want to keep my white eyes there. So I can either use um, something called. So I could put masking fluid for the eyes um, if I didn't want to deal with having to paint around it. So I'll just take a little bit of this. It's two seconds. I wouldn't want to keep the jar open. I'll just put, grab a little brush and just paint the little eyeballs. I might have to go grab a little more. It's just a little technique. If you have some of this, don't worry. If you don't, just kind of paint around their eyes. You just fill it in and you have to let that dry. And once it's dry, we can just paint all around it without having to worry about the white area. So I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, so like through the magic of television, after I've used the masking fluid for the little dots, I can just go and start to paint in my little popsicle, with all the colors I want. So I'll grab some clear water and I'll just put water all in the shape 
Not too much. You don't want it super wet, but wet enough that you can move the paint around in the popsicle shape. Now, bleeding in all these colors, especially with yellow, you don't want to make it muddy. Just take your time and just don't have them connect too much. The yellow with the reds are fine, but the yellow with the other one. So I'm just going to bleed in some yellow. And bring it over on the eyes. Right? Yellow and green are fine. So we can put in some green. Ooh, just see, I'm just tapping that color in there. It'd be kind of cool. Put some blue up there. That's going to bleed. Obviously, we're going to do some pink. Grab some pink color. Ooh, it needs a little more water to move it around. Putting some pink up in here. I'm going to grab that orange. It's like very tie-dye-ish, right? But cute. Kids love this. This is perfect for a kid to play around with. And if you want to give it for a birthday card, just a cute little card. Maybe where the pink is, we might add some blue. So we have like a purple, um, ultramarine blue. And be careful with the yellow because it will turn a little... The ultramarine blue with yellow is going to turn like a muddy green. So just be careful with that. Might go back in and add the pink here. Make it purple, and then purple and yellow turn into brown. So just be careful. See how I'm not touching next to the yellow? I'm just kind of, kind of touching near it. I'm like, stay away from me, yellow. <laughs> and then you can do the same thing with the blue up here. You can add a little blue up here, deeper blue. And the shape of the popsicle. Look how cute that is. I love it. And the yellow is still staying good. I can add a little more yellow here. I'm going to clean up my brush. You really want to make sure your brush is clean in between the colors in this one. Because if you don't, you're getting a muddy mess. Just want to fix the shape of my popsicle here. And I'll add a little orange here. I can even add a little pink to make it red. In the corner. So you really have like a rainbow going. And like the other one, we're going to have to wait till this dries to do the other part. Now that I left a space here, I'm going to have to put a little yellow in here. Ooh, and add some green. This is so much fun. Didn't take much to do, right? There's little white spots in here. I'm just going to fill the white spots in. And the blue over here. Just kind of push it around. Boom. Tie-dye popsicle. Super easy to do. Um, for the stick, it's just, you know, take burnt umber or whatever brown you have. I might add a touch of yellow to that and water it down. Now, I'll be careful not to touch this yet because it's going to probably go bleed into here and get all muddy. So I'm going to put this aside and we'll go back to our little wheel. <laughs> this is where I'll use my... I'm switching back and forth to my eight and my eight and my eight long round the hat so you know it's kind of like a navy wheel you can make it bright and fun maybe yellow with some green or pink whatever you want to do I think I'll do yellow and then I'll add a green I'll just fill it all in yellow let that dry and I'll add a green stripe in get a little thicker with the paint it dries a little faster Okay, so you keep picking up my paintbrush and pushing it back on the paper towel. It's like mopping up the color. And I'm gonna have to wait till that dries in order to um, <laughs> get that going. So let's just work on the crab. So I have this color. I'm gonna find it for you. Cadmium red light. Perfect crab color. Boop. I'll put it right over here. And just grab whatever brush I have conveniently. I have my um, Princeton 8 long run. Now, I don't know if this, maybe this crab is a little, this color is a little too orangey. Might add a little pink to it just to brighten it up. There we go. And you can just go like I'm doing, just red on, boom. Start to add some water to it to loosen it up a little bit. 
I don't want it loose too much because then it's like um, a pinky color or orangey color. See, it's kind of orangey, isn't it? I'm going to add a little more water. This is another way to do it besides putting the water down first and then bleeding it. You can just put the color down and just lift up some of the paint. See, lifting it up. Two techniques, same kind of result. And I might just get a little more pink in here. And my red, maybe some magenta, because I just got a deeper red. And I can bleed that on the edges. And just make a simple legs, like we drew. If they're a little bit darker red, that's fine. You don't want to fuss too much. And then of course the claw. So here I'm going to grab some more water. Boop, boop. And you have to think about what colors you want for your present. So maybe you want blues, greens, pinks, you know, whoever it's for. If it's for a girl, boy, it doesn't really have to be girl colors either. So I just put that in there. And of course, I have to wait for that to dry as well. Now I'm going to lift up some of the paint. It kind of looks like a one note here in the claw. See how I'm lifting it up? It has a little more dimension involved. I probably should have painted it like I painted the whale. But that's okay. I'm going to go back in here and bleed some darker color on the outside. Now, if it starts to dry, you see this card edge? Just clean up your brush, grab some water, and just kind of push that paint around. Manipulate it. See? I'm adding more water, and I can go one more swipe back over. So nice, it has a nice bleed to it. Now, the, the eyeballs are just going to be white, but you could put a little red here. You can do like the sleepy eyes where it's kind of cut in half. <laughs> or just put like a little teeny red. See, it's kind of broken up. Or you can do gray for the eyes. You can choose red. If you didn't want to choose red, maybe grab a gray or a blue gray and just kind of do this little color. See how I'm just pushing the color on the left side like this. This is where you need this nice little pointy brush. See, just on that one side. You don't have to go all the way around. All right, we have to wait for this one to dry. So we'll switch, switch, we keep switching back and forth. Go back to the wheel <laughs> and let's finish some, this one up. So I'm going to grab my green that I mixed up. I've got my green with my yellow and my blue. I want it less wet, so I mix it even thicker. And I'm just going to do a simple stripe. You could make all this blue, by the way. And I think they'll make the pom-pom kind of red. Just so I have some bright colors in here for birthday. And the pom-pom is super easy. You just take your brush. You get your... I'm going to get my red color here. You just take it and make little lines. Boom. Pom-pom. Super simple. Now, like I said, for the eye... I think of this one, I'm just going to do a simple black dot. See, I'm going to grab some black paint, whatever black paint you have, make black paint. I have some black wash. I just do a simple dot. Super cute, right? We're going to finish painting them, we can write something on the bottom, but if you want to just take like a nice pretty micron pen, they're really kind of fine. I'm just going to play around with the pen, make sure it's working. And then you can just write Happy birthday. What I like about this pen is it's like a very fine pen. So it gives it kind of like a really sweet look to it. Look how cute that is. You can write have a whale of a time. <laughs> um, I'm going to go back to our crabby crabster. We'll finish with popsicle too. And the present, you can have to think about colors you want for that. Do you want green, you want blues, yellows again. 
Um, green would be nice, but it's kind of Christmassy to me. So maybe blue. I'm going to water down the ultramarine blue. Like more nautical looking. And just put that blue in for the present. So I'm just doing a light wash of that ultramarine blue. The Krabby's holding the present. So while it's still damp, because it's on this nice arch paper, I can get some of the darker tones by just grabbing some of the paint here with less water. Again, just hitting the edges. That's all you need to do is just tap the edges while it's still wet. See how it bleeds in and even get it even thicker on the edges. There's a nice pretty bleed. Now you probably would think, oh wait, she didn't do a stripe. Um, and if you can't paint like watercolor on top of a dark color, which is true, you could use gouache. Um, you could kind of did the masking fluid or you can take this technique I'm doing right now. You lift the paint up slowly, tap it on your paper towel, right? So you, now you can see the white. You might have to clear your brush a couple of times. Just giving you techniques, by the way, besides just showing you cute little characters. And you do that. And when that dries, you can go back and add a nice lighter color. All right, we're gonna go to our popsicle. We're gonna finish that guy off. So remember we have burnt umber with a little yellow mixed in. Water it down, has a nice, you know, tan kind of color. Might water just down a little bit more. And we have a popsicle color, the stick color, just simple. And we might want to add, see, when I, I looked at my brush, I'm constantly going back and tapping it back on the paper towel because I don't want all the excess water and I want that light color. But I could go back in with some burnt umber and just tap the upper part here like a shadow and a little bit on the edge. Right? Um, I have my rubber cement pick up somewhere. I don't know where I put it. So I'm gonna have to just use my eraser or something to grab the masking fluid off or my fingers. There we go. Just for the eyes. Oh, it doesn't want to come off. I'm gonna to have to find that rubber cement pick up. Okay, I found it. If you don't have one of these, I have links to it in my description box and on all my videos. It's like four to five dollars. It's the best thing on the planet to lift up to your masking fluid. And I guess what happened with this one is that it didn't work on that side. Okay. Well, that happens. <laughs> That's when you say, well, it's a good thing you have. I kind of break my paper a little bit. Real time tutorial, guys. White gouache. It's your best friend. Always have it in your repertoire. For this reason alone. Don't know why the my masking thing didn't work, but I'm not gonna question it. Grab a little white gouache, put a little water to it, and we'll just do our little white eyes. And I kind of scraped my paper a little too much, but you probably did the masking fluid better than me. So we'll just do the white gouache, and we'll let that dry, and we'll go back into our cute little eyes. And again, we can use the same, um, marker or a different marker and you can write like super cool right or happy birthday again super cool kid <laughs> you know super cool is fine for me and it could have put a hat on this one I didn't put a hat on this one and we're gonna go back to our little Krabby Crabster with my other brush. And I'm thinking about what colors I would use for his little bow. Could do yellow, it's kind of nautical. Maybe pretty green. Um, probably do like a green. Grab a yellowish green. It looks prettier than the yellow. Oops. Nice yellowish green here. Okay. And just fill that stripe in. And we can do like a little bows. 
like this. Oops. Also, the blue, you could do blue by the way, it doesn't have to be green. Um, take a darker blue or even, and you can do little stripes or dots. I'm just doing stripes. So you have a little pattern going, make it more interesting. And then for the eyes, just grab whatever black you have. I'm just gonna make the eyes looking up at the present. Little dots. And then just a cute little smile. Hey, hey, look at me. <laughs> now you don't have to use a marker to write the words, but I think it helps, you know. Um, again, I'll just do happy birthday. Now, did you notice that I have the crab kind of all up here and not down here? Again, that's just another position of composition of the card, just the way I decided to do it. So now they're gonna go back to my little super cool and put the dots in for the eyes on this one. And then we'll be done with our cards. Just really just grab the little black and you can just be like, oops, a little wet. Okay, so you just grab your black and you make the little dots for the eyes. Mine was kind of bleeding, I had to fix it. And you can do a little smile here. Super cool. I might actually, because the eyes got, for me, for my card, go under with the green. Kind of fix under here a little bit. <laughs> it might look like it's sick. <laughs> but I'll just kind of tweak it. Just a little bit and add some yellow in here. And then the brown, I might go back in with my brown and just grab a little darker shade. Just go like that and go over down here. Just add something to it. So there we go. We have our cute little cards. Yeah, they're fun. Super easy to do. Super whimsical. Um, the popsicle was so much fun. You can change the varieties of the colors. I mean, you can just make it one solid color with just a bunch of blue dots. You can make it look like a watermelon. Same with the whale. Can be doesn't have to be blue. It can be pink. Um, and the crab, you know, change the present and all that nonsense. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little whimsical birthday cards. Um, this is a lot of fun and great gifts to give even adults, never mind kids. Because what, what person doesn't love a cute little card, right? You can make it less goofy by having just a solid dot eye. When you have the rounded white eye, it's a little more goofy whimsical little little less goofy with the dot if you notice the difference see that's why i did both so you can see the difference all right guys thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel i hope you have a fantastic day and you're enjoying your summer and stay cool because <laughs> i know up here it's going to be a heat wave this week so take care and i'll speak to you soon